Today on Ghostbusters News, we're taking a look at the brand new Zap and Blast Proton Blaster from Hasbro. Does Bustin make you feel good? We're gonna find out. Hey everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and today we're going to be taking a look at yet another brand new Ghostbusters Frozen Empire toy from Hasbro. But before we light up the Zap and Blast Proton Blaster, previously here on the channel, we unboxed the Track and Trap Ecto-1. If you've yet to watch that video, we've got a link to it down below in the description. As well, we're soon going to be tearing into the just-released Kenner Classics Fright features, as well as Hasbro's 5-inch tall figure line that features Ecto Stretch tech. So yeah, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. Alright, so back to the Zap and Blast Proton Blaster, I just gotta say, I love this Proton-fueled, caution stripe clad, and slime splash packaging. You'll see here it does advertise more than 20 supernatural sounds, which do include a number of Easter eggs, so stay tuned for those. Now switching the box around to the back here, it shows that there are three different modes of play, which one is call, two is charge, and three is blast. And much like that track and trap Ecto-1 which had a driver's license on the back of the box, the Proton Blaster does have a research and development department ID tag that you can cut out that is perfect for any junior Ghostbuster out there. Now with the blaster removed from the box, before we dive into all the lights, the sounds, at first glance, it'd be easy to just assume that this kid's roleplay toy is just a repaint of Hasbro's previously released Ghostbusters Afterlife Proton Blaster mod. And while yes, there are some similarities with the sculpt, this one is such an improvement. While the Proton Blaster mod, it was all about customization, allowing for more than 10 different combinations, it just kind of seemed like an unnecessary gimmick. While when it comes to this brand new Proton Blaster, uh, yeah, this is something I would have loved to have had as a kid, and heck, even as an adult, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to, to add it into my collection. So what's different? Well, it's been made to more so match up with what you're going to see on the big screen in Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Ditching the Kenner blue for black, we also have yellow accents from the heat sink, as well as the returning caution striping. Given that this does not use those mod attachments, we've got new sculpting detail, such as the side discs. The front barrel is now securely attached, and that leads to this new front piece, which has been made to mimic the shroud found on the Frozen Empire throwers. Now getting into functionality, I should start things off by saying there are quite a few buttons on here that don't do anything. I mean, these here, they're just for show. Uh, these flick up and down, but uh, yeah, they won't aid in ghost busting. Again, this toy, it has three different functions to call, charge, and then, well, living up to its name, blast. Now to call, all you gotta do is just hit this button found on the top of the wand's box. And after doing so, a couple seconds later, uh, yeah, you're gonna see some lights. You're obviously Gonna hear some sounds, uh, kind of like a little beeping noise there. And what is that? We're then told to charge the proton blaster, and to do that, just take that front shroud and push it forward. And there's a familiar noise, and check out the light show in here. The combination of this blue and orange, it recreates the look of the proton stream like perfectly. And then from there, you've got this button. Just press it and hold it down. Finally, it is time to blast, and to do so, to do so, all you gotta do, are you okay? Okay, so to do so, just take that front shroud, pull it back, and then just hit this little button on the grip, and... The lights, they extend, and they illuminate this translucent proton stream. Oh, let me also add here, when you buy the Zap and Blast Proton Blaster, uh, the actual stream portion here, this is actually inside the box. It's just one of those toys that once you attach it, you really can't like detach it that easy. So yeah, that's pretty much the reason why it's been attached for the entire duration of today's video. All right, so earlier I made mention that the Proton Blaster, it is jam-packed full of Easter eggs. And to get to these, all you have to do is just hit that call button on top of here, uh, and that kind of switches in between different modes. So let me hit it right now. 
And yellow appears to be like the standard proton stream, so when you hit the uh, trigger on the back grip here, uh, you're gonna hear that familiar noise. But hitting the button again, this is when the fun, it really begins, because we got green, like slime. More, more noises there. And let's hit this back trigger. Do you hear that? I mean, I, I just said slime, and I think I just heard Slimer. That's right, much like that Plasma Series Spengler's Neutrino wand, this Proton Blaster, it comes with the sounds from the 2009 Ghostbusters the video game. Like, I am so surprised that Hasbro, they included all this in a children's toy. But as I alluded to like a second ago, um, yeah, you heard Slimer. This thing also includes uh, noises, sound effects, from tons of other ghosts. Some we've heard before, others will likely get introduced to in Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Oh yeah, and mirroring the Spengler's wand, there is an overheat sequence. So let me go ahead and hit that back trigger. Again, for a child's toy, I feel like Hasbro, they went above and beyond, and if you'd like to grab one of these for your collection, or for that Junior Ghostbusters fan in your life, we do have a purchase link, and it's down below in this video's description. With that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below, and we'll see you right back here next time. Spine, your senses don't deceive you. Call up the guys who are ready to believe you. The numbers five 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 two three six eight. But before you call, let's get something straight. What do you do when the ghost is busted? Is it the source universally trust?